Hey everybody, Gideon's Tactical here again, doing another uh, quick knife review for you. This one is of the Topps Buck uh, collaboration Nighthawk. Um, and uh, just got to tell you right out of the box, um, this thing feels like a pry bar. Um, this is an extremely sturdy, heavy duty um, fixed blade knife. And um, we did a bunch of tests with it, uh, and I'm just, we're just going to kind of talk about it here a little bit. Some specs really quick. Um, you got a five inch blade. This is the short version. You can get it in the long version, uh, which is a seven inch blade. So you get an extra two inches on it. Um, made out of 420 high, car uh, high carbon steel that Buck uses for most of their knives. And I've come to find out that I just re I really like this type of steel. Um, it's very strong, very rust resistant, um, and uh, it holds a pretty good edge. And then when you need to resharpen it, you can resharpen it to a very wicked edge again very quickly. Um, you know, some of the, the higher end steels, um, I personally own the, uh, what's it called, the Ontario Blackbird SK5, that's uh, 154 CM steel. Uh, the edge will last a lot longer than this, but it's going to be almost impossible for me to sharpen it in the field. I mean, I can, but I'm going to have to spend a couple hours on it to get it back to a, a factory edge in the field. Whereas this, uh, once it dulls, I can whip it on the stone, you know, uh, slot, uh, put it on the leather belt and slop it and get it back to um, where it needs to be very quickly. So that's just the, my opinion on the steel. I like 420 uh, high carbon that Buck uses. Um, anyway, f uh, flat grind here, uh, which is great for um, splitting and it's going to last, you know, stay sharp for a lot longer than a hollow grind or other type of grinds. Um, if you can see here on the spine, this is a, a quarter inch spine. So, I mean, you're looking at the same thickness as like a BK2. Um, and that's why I say, I mean, it just feels like a pry bar. Um, you know, you could like pry open almost anything. It does have this tapered edge up here. Um, you know, they kind of designed this to be supposedly kind of like a tactical knife. Uh, I could, I guess I could see that, um, you know, it, it could play either role. It's, it's kind of like a 50, 50, um, is it an okay tactical knife? Yes. Is it, um, an okay bush knife? Uh, yes. So, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily blow the competition out of the water on either end, but it could play both roles. Um, but with this uh, tapered edge right here, where it concaves back in up to right here, um, you can hit and bat baton with it, but you're going to kind of nick up your batoning stick, as you can see. Um, it's just going to chew it up faster than maybe some other types of knives, um, and you're going to have to rotate out your batoning stick that you're hitting the, the knife with a little bit faster uh, than you would if this was just solid uh, quarter inch thickness all the way through but very very thick blade you're not going to worry about breaking it you know if you're just trying to you know pry something sideways and split a piece of wood or whatever um, so that's the blade I uh, really like it it did a lot a lot of work and it was able to do a bunch of detail work as you can see here uh, I mean we feathered this entire stick with this blade uh, after batoning it and doing a bunch of other stuff with it we went to this um, this is dried out uh, aspen and uh, was able to feather this thing great uh, and would be able to start a fire if need be um, with that. The handle, the handle is a Zytel uh, Craton mix, um, which actually feels really good in the hand. This bottom part is the Craton, uh, and then this upper part right here, as you see, uh, is the Zytel. So uh, it's just a really good combination, I feel. Gives you really good texture. The fingers, I mean, it just feels great in the hand. I wear large size gloves, so you got plenty of room to spare. You can kind of back up on it if you need to, to, to do some of your hacking, if you're hacking off some little branches or whatever. Um, no lanyard hole. I would have liked to just see a lanyard hole. I mean, it doesn't necessarily take away from it, but I uh, would have liked to see that. It would have helped just a little bit when you're choking up back here and, and you know knocking some wood off and stuff. Shampoo. Um, and then uh, you got this nice thumb ramp right here. So when you you got it back here and you know you're doing some quick hacking or whatever, or if you're using it in a tactical deployment, feels great. Uh, it's got some you know just bubbling kind of stuff right there to help uh, with the with the texturing of it, so your thumb's not going to slip. I was a little concerned when I when we first got this is oh man when we choke up on it is it going to be uncomfortable? But when you choke up on it like this, this thumb ramp actually goes right in there with the back of your thumb and you get right down on it in the super thick quarter inch spine so that you can really do some of that detail work that we we just showed you I'll show you right here really quick you know you choke up on it like that boom you go right to feathering and it's no it feels really comfortable there's no issues whatsoever uh, with that so um, just really like that 
um, about it. So that's the knife. Um, you got these holes up here. Supposedly this is for like an oxygen tank. Lightens the knife a little bit. It's 10 ounces, so it's really beefy for such a short, small knife. Uh, it's a really heavy knife, which is great because you can do a lot of stuff with it. Um, onto the sheath. Uh, the sheath... How can I describe it? It's kind of like that really hot girlfriend, that really hot girl at school, you know, or at college, or, you know, you see at your office that is super hot and nice looking, but she's freaking crazy. Um, and that's kind of how uh, this sheath is. Looks awesome. Um, really heavy duty nylon. Um, really nice. It's got the molly on the back, as you can see. You can feed it through a bunch of different stuff. Um, it's got the Velcro uh, ability that you can just put it on your belt without taking off your belt. You got um, holes all over the place for paracord here, here, so you can double lash it. Comes with this uh, paracord right here that you can, uh, you know, unweave and then put it around your leg. Uh, and then in the front, you got the buck tops um, clip. Then you got a nice pocket in here. You get a small pocket knife. You could get, you know, a Leatherman tool, your fire starter uh, kit, um, a, a sharpening stone, anything like that. Put it back in there. It's got this nice little nylon you know, stretchy piece just to kind of keep it tight. Um, you got right here to keep the, the knife securely, you got the button and everything, which is really nice instead of just Velcro or something. All that is awesome. The downside is this right here, the where the knife actually goes in. It is so thick, I can get my finger in there. And you could almost get, whoops, uh, you can almost get two knife blades in there. And out of the box, when you get this, when you put it in here, the, the knife retention is like zero. It will rattle. Uh, if you hold it upside down, the knife will slowly start to slide out. So what we did to modify this is we just got a piece of cardboard and stuck a piece of cardboard in that sleeve. And it works great now. The retention's awesome. It's not going to slide out. doesn't rattle. Nothing like that. And it, it just does what it needs to do. It has a drainage hole right here, and you can see the cardboard right in there. We just, put, uh, we just took a piece of cardboard, folded it in a U, shoved it in there, um, and it gets the job done. We're going to probably maybe afterwards do some other modifications, maybe get some Velcro um, just from Walmart, stick it in the, the sl plastic sleeve here. Um, but that was the only really downside, and you'll hear a lot of people complaining about that, but it's a very easy fix. And once you do that, now this sheath is awesome. But, uh, you know, for I wish the tops and buck would have just figured that out without us having to mod it with some Velcro or something else. So um, overall thoughts for this particular short blade one, um, I'm really impressed with this, particularly for your price point. Uh, I mean, you're paying between probably like right around the $60-ish mark, $60, $65 for the short, and then you're going to probably be paying like $75-ish, uh, maybe $80 for the long, uh, the 7-inch one. So uh, overall, I'm very impressed with this. You can do a lot of stuff. This is a great uh, bush knife, and uh, it could definitely do some tactical stuff uh, if you needed it too. So uh, those are the initial thoughts. Um, great knife, overall good sheath, but you're definitely gonna have to do something to mod this the sleeve. Uh, either heat it, heat up that plastic in there, and you know melt it to uh, form fit the knife better or something. Because out of the box, it's terrible retention in the sheath itself. So uh, that's the Buck Tops Nighthawk Short Blade. Um, hopefully this helps you out a little bit, guys. Stay equipped and stay prepared. Thanks for watching.